Hello everyone, my name's Lost, and today we are going to look at dragging and dropping from some sort of UI. This video was suggested by Alex Lee, so let's get started. So I've done a couple of things here that I just want to talk you through. Um, the first thing is that I've, I've just got a background set up and a UI. Uh, the room size is 960 by 540 and I've just got the object GUI in the room and object control in the room which currently does nothing. So let's have a quick look at object GUI because there's a couple of concepts we need to go through here. So firstly I'm just drawing uh, the sprite UI to the room at the bottom right. So I'm drawing at the room width by the room height which is the very bottom right of the room and I'm drawing at an X scale of 2 to make it just a little bit bigger. And this is what it then looks like. So this is the UI, it has one building on it and we want to be able to drag that building to the screen and then you know have it build on the screen I guess. So then if we look at this uh, this little debug section. What this is, um, it's gonna the, the variable GUI X will store the device mouse X to GUI. Now this is useful if you have um, a room that is wh where you're using views and it's really big. So your you, you know your view would be like 960 by 540, um, but your room size is actually like 5,000 wide. You know, etc. Because what this allows you to do is, in the room, your mouse might be at you know might have an X of like uh, two thousand by like a Y of you know four thousand. But if you use this, it will um, convert it into the actual screen coordinates, which is really useful. So with that being said, all we're doing is we're just drawing um, the two values on the top left of the screen and this will just help us determine where the mouse is and how we can click things. So let's just have a little look at this in the room itself. Okay so this is actually much bigger than I thought it was going to be so I'm just going to turn the X and Y scale down to 1 but you can see what's happening here right with the uh, with the, with the GUI X and Y at the top so th this is you just got to imagine the room is much bigger than it is and the coordinates of the X and Y just being converted to on-screen coordinates for the GUI layer. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this down to X scale one and one. Okay, then. So th this looks a bit better. So what we then have to do is we need to determine where this building is, right? So we know that the top left of this. Uh, building is we'll just say 636 by 348 right we need to make a note of those numbers so let's get that uh, wait, what was it again 630 uh, well it doesn't really matter I guess that'll do so 638 uh, 637 I mean by 349 and then we need um, the bottom left so this is the top left of that building uh, and now we need, sorry, we need the bottom right. And the bottom right is roughly, so let's just go that. Let's go 704 by 401. So now we have the coordinates for this building. So now we know how to click it. So I've just added a new sprite here, and this is the building that we want to place down. Um, and this is actually simpler than you might think. So let's go to object control. And just close that, and I'm going to copy this code here. Now we just need the step event, and we'll just say uh, drag building. So let's declare our variables up there, and then all we have to do is we have to say if uh, GUI X is Bigger than or equal to six three seven and bigger or equal to GUI Y oops if and GUI Y sorry is bigger or equal to three four nine and then we'll just say if um, GUI X is smaller or equal than seven oh four and 
gooey y is smaller or equal than 401. So now we, now we need to find a way to drag the building, you see. So we probably need then a variable in the create event. And we'll just call this init for initialized. And let's go with um, um, selected and we'll make that equal false. So we'll just say if um, mouse check button is pressed and we'll go mouse button left. And then we'll say selected is true. Uh, actually, first let's go with uh, if um, selected is false, then selected is now true. And we'll also go instance, create a layer, and we'll just create it at uh, the mouse X and the mouse Y on layer instances. And I'm going to create this, but I'm just going to call it oh, wood building, like that. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just create that now. So if we go to object create, let's go oh, wood building, and let's attach the sprite. And that's all we really need for now. And we'll give this a var called var uh, new build. Oops. Uh, and we'll just go. So in in wood build, we actually need a variable in here, and we're just going to call it um, something like uh, being placed is. Uh, it starts at true actually. It needs to start at true. So and obviously when we when it's once it's been placed, uh, we'll set it to false. So now let's go with this then. So let's go with if. Um, mouse check, uh, just mouse check button, and we've still got the mouse left button down. Then let's say something like, um, yeah, okay. So let's go with if uh, instance exists, and we'll go with new build. In fact, in fact, I don't want this to be just a bar here. I want to actually make this a variable. So let's go. Uh, new build and we'll start it as no one like that okay so if instance exists uh, new build then new build dot x equals uh, mouse x and new build dot y equals mouse y um, and then we'll say uh, else if mouse check button released and be left so if we let go of the left mouse button then um, we'll just say oh wait yeah if, so down here we'll just say if instance new build and then we'll just say if uh, new build dot being placed is true then we'll then do this like that um, And if we release the left mouse button, then uh, again, we'll just go with if instance exists, just so that we can avoid some crashing for just in case, you know, it's just safe to do this. So, and then we'll go um, new build dot being placed is now false. Now, I actually haven't tested this. I don't know if it's going to work or if it isn't, but let's try it together and see what happens. Okay, so moment of truth. And it does actually work. Now if we let go, and there we go. Can I get another one? I can't get another one for some reason. Why is that? Why can't we build another? Well, let's have a look. Ah, I know why, because we then need to just go, once we've let go, selected needs to become false. And now we should be able to create another one. So let's try it now. Let's see. So there's one. Ah, there we go. Okay, we can build multiple now. Uh, so the other request was, if you have like a unit down on the floor, can we drag those around as well? And the answer is yes. Now I'm not going to create another menu with units on here because I just it's too much work. <laughs> it's too much work. So instead of I'm just going to drag these around instead. And very similar concept, isn't it? Like you, you'll still be able to see how it works. 
So let's create a new variable in Owood building and let's call this um, um, move building and we'll start that as false. Okay, and then uh, I mean we could code this in the control event, but I won't. Instead, I'm going to do it in the in this event itself. So let's go with uh, um, movement after being placed. I don't know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. So let's go if uh, if mouse check. Uh, button is pressed and we'll go mouse button left. So if we press the left mouse button, uh, if uh, instance position is mouse x and mouse y is over id, so that just means if over self. Uh, so if the mouse is over the id, which is the instance that we are controlling currently, then um, we'll do this. We'll just say being moved. Uh, what did I call it? Oh, uh, move building. Okay, sorry. Move building now equals true. And then we'll just say else if um, mouse check button is down. And look for the mouse button left again. We'll say if move building is true then um, uh, x equals mouse x and y equals oops y equals mouse y and then we'll just say else if um, mouse check button is released and let's go with mouse button left again then move building now equals False. Again, I don't know if this is going to work, so let's just try it out. So let's see then. And yeah, we can move it around. Okay, that's good. So yeah, that's how I would go about doing this, guys. Uh, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying it's the way that you absolutely should be doing it. But it kind of works, doesn't it? So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.